and you you can actually buy more lah, buy more software, buy more access to more software. Uh, they charge by annual. It's my first time opening this. They sent me this in in April. <laughs> I was like, I got no time to do it lah. Then they asked again in June. I said, oh, we just went into full lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Time to get my car serviced. Oh. Oops. There we go. So I serviced the car last year, September, and uh, the time the mileage was uh, twenty-eight thousand. So now it's thirty-four thousand one hundred forty-nine. Uh, time to do an oil change and uh, give everything a run through, a check. All right. So I generally change my engine oil five to six thousand uh, kilometers. I know it, uh, to some they say oh it's a bit wasteful but uh, I think it's a it's not a relatively expensive thing in terms of car maintenance you know so it's one of the least that we can do and visiting our our workshop slightly more often also allows them to give a thorough check from time to time okay so I'm running late again Yes, drive smoothly there. And for transmission, I will change them generally 30 to 40,000 km. I'll change my transmission oil. Yeah. And I'll see if I have the time play around with this. I haven't had the time. Yeah. Whew. Cheers. I am here. Uh, it really feels like something I do a little bit too often, right? <laughs> Alright. Hey, let me belanja my friend some sound. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Let me hear the sound. Hi guys, I've arrived here. So I'm here again at Prestige. And uh, look at the amount of cars they have here. My god, it's like traffic jam here. Crazy. And I just spotted this Valfire having the same number as my Audi 6006. <laughs> and that's a Bentley Continental GT there. Beautiful car. X4. And uh, that's a Huracan over there. And uh, I just want to pop the food. So, I'm going to leave my car here. For them to do the oil change. Here's my friend, Michael. Uh, you all might remember him. Oh, that's a Camaro that he turned in. You all might remember him where he let me drive his Alfa Romeo Giulia. Oh, look at that green, man. 
crazy. When I switched to pro mileage, in my case, I got 46-47% of savings oh, for that time. Pro mileage was the only one that gave me 5,000 extra value to cover, yet still cheaper, a lot less. A lot Turn less. up! So bro, yes, sir. how many litres of oil this car needs? 13.1 litres or 710 <laughs> uh, Yeah, okay, that's, that's oil But, <laughs> but for, for car guys, you know, that we are this saying that Oh, 710 because oil upside down is 710 so this is a 5.9 liter V12 naturally aspirated. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it's it's not direct injection. It's port injection. Yeah. Uh, now that I learned my shit, port injection actually uh, reduce carbon buildup. <laughs> Sorry. Reduce carbon buildup in your combustion chamber. Right, yeah. it actually is healthier in the long run because people who drive this kind of car don't need to save fuel. <laughs> hey, actually, this one is not the consumption of this, right? It's lower than my 4 liter Audi. Eh? Yes. yes! My 4 liter Audi somehow got cylinder deactivation. And my 4 liter Audi consumes less than my 3 liter Audi last time, that one. Ah, the supercharged one, ah, that one thirst okay. thirstiest. So, I suppose that's a. There's one day right, I was in dynamic mode in my Audi In dynamic mode, the, the, the transmission is asthma right mm. So I was driving smoothly on the highway right Suddenly I see, what? Four cylinder activated I said, like, what the fuck? I'm in dynamic mode And then you activate cylinder deactivation I said, what the hell is that? <laughs> that, was so, that was funny Yeah so it's 5.9, but Aston decided to call it 6. I don't think this is too much of a lie because 5.9, you know, compared to Mercedes, 6.2, calling it 6.3 is just damn weird. Lah. Oh, look at that Camaro. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I prefer the one before this, actually. Oh? That one looks manlier. This one, this one is the latest. Lah. Anyway. So it requires 13.1 liter. And uh, your cam loop, uh, okay, guys, if it's the first time watching, why I use Camlio is because I forgot the term already. It's an ester based engine oil. Ester based engine oil. Yeah. And uh, ester based is 100% synthetic, which is one grade higher than fully synthetic uh, in a way. In a way, yes. Right? Yeah. Fully synthetic is actually, what do you call that? The grade, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, one? The majority of uh, fully synthetic engine oils nowadays are actually group 3. Hydrotech in the oil. Group 3, they hydrotech and then they call it Group 4, right? Uh, they don't call it Group 4, they call it Fully Synthetic. Like. Fully Synthetic, mm. uh, anyway. So, mostly engine oils, they have that, what? 5W40 la, and all that, right? Uh, yes. The so the one that I'm using is actually what? It's actually a 10W40. 10W40. Yeah, right. You want to explain 10W40? Uh, okay. The W actually stands for winter. Yep. So in Malaysia, it's not really relevant. Yeah. Because uh, what W really means is that how much uh, what the lowest four point is. Mm. Yeah, so when it comes to 5W, you can use it in temperatures of up to negative 25 degrees Celsius. And uh, when it comes to 10W, you can use it up to temperatures up to negative 20 degrees Celsius. Ah, mm. all right. So, so the one that I'm using is 10W40. 10W40, Actually, now, uh, now that I know, now that I know cars more and more, I will prefer engine oils to be thicker. I don't need them to be thin, to be honest. Uh. Mm. Right, like like uh, M5, their official rated is 60, right? The previous generation. Previous generation, 10 10W60, uh, right? Yeah, all 60 <laughs> So your oils, you have other viscosity? You have, you have 30, 40, and 50 viscosity. Ah, yeah, so what's the thickest one that the I can 50. put in? Sorry? Uh, the thickest one to we have is uh. the 50 viscosity, 100% synthetic. Whoa. Okay, okay. For for my car, how thick can I go? Uh, we are using the 40 in your car. 40 is actually quite thick already, right? Uh, well, it's quite difficult. Uh. I mean, nowadays people are actually going lower and lower viscosity for the engine oil. 
but that is simply to compensate for the fuel consumption that, you know, you need to have a certain, meet a certain fuel consumption. Yeah, right. I don't care about fuel consumption. <laughs> so use lighter engine oil for yeah. Fuel lighter yourself. engine oil, yes, it's, it's more responsive, <coughs> lower fuel consumption, yes. right? But for protection, but for protection, you what you should ideally have is an engine oil with a high viscosity index, so mm. that when the engine oil heats up, it doesn't clean so quite so yeah. That's what BMW say, right? They they, they recommend sixty because yes. when you go to the track, you're gonna thin it out, yes. right? Yeah, and then you know you feel that your oil pressure starts. Dropping, and your <laughs> engine is going to like jump out of the taxi kind of situation. Yeah. So guys, you can I, I'll link one of my previous video where I, I interviewed Cam, uh, Mike from Cam Loop. Uh, their oil is hundred is ester based and it's hundred uh, percent synthetic. Yeah. So you can research a little bit about ester based oil. All right. And uh, he sells at a very good price compared to some that really overcharges for ester based oil. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this company sent me this thing, uh, they sent me two, one is Thinkar Pro, one is Thinkar 2. Thinkar 2 is for private user, where you can download three, uh, three car models and you can diagnose them. And then Thinkar Pro is for workshop, where you can download three brands of all car models from that three brands. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, three mix of cars, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you, you can actually buy more, lah, buy more software, buy more access to more software. Uh, they charge by annual. It's my first time opening this. They sent me this in, in April. <laughs> I was like, I got no time to do it. Lah. Then they asked again in June. I said, like, oh, we just went into full lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? I'm going to destroy the box. Uh, right? I'm so uncivilized. Tinka QC. Because I, what I was told is a lot of workshops in Malaysia don't invest in Aston Diagnostic. Yeah, maybe. Because not enough cars, not right? Not enough cars to justify the yeah. initial expenditure. Yeah, so. This thing is like 200 over ringgit. And then you have the app. Hopefully they connect, and uh, we'll see what we can get from the car. And this car has two OBD ports. <laughs> it's then weird one. One is solely for the engine. The other one is for the gearbox and ancillary. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So I do not know which is which is which. Do you do this kind of stuff, uh, yourself? Let's have a look. What can I find here? Oh my God. Uh, can you all see it? There's one. Where's the other one? Oh, this one is covered. There's one with the rubber cover one. Anyway, I'll try the one. That's the shape. That's how it should go. Oh, there's a light. Okay, now I go back to my app. And what do I do? I need to. <laughs> Allow. Allow. Oh dear. Ugh. What the hell need to lock in some more? I'm in. 
I'm lucky. So, do I press the Bluetooth? Activate. Serial number, shit. <laughs> yes, uh, oh. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so there's an activation code. Let me do this. One four zero two zero zero one four six. Yes, it's activator. And uh, installed already. And software will be automatically downloaded for you. Okay. And how do I identify? I want Aston Martin. What the hell? You can choose any five software for free. Mm -hmm. Oh, on yeah. Audi, Aston Martin, BMW. What else? Five or oh, I get five brands or. Oh. Uh, can you add later? Huh? Can you add later? I don't know. What other brand uh, do I want? You know what other cars you have got? Uh, but I have a I have a 1969 Fiat. Okay, no, <laughs> no OBD2 necessary. <laughs> uh, should I go with Toyota? I have a crown though. You have a crown? Yeah, I have a crown. 2005. I don't want to buy for my father. La. Between my dad. La. <laughs> Toyota. Should I? Should I? I'll just keep it with the... No, no. Alfa Romeo go or not? No, no Alfa Romeo. So I can select the brands. Uh, No Alpha, bro. Lexus also don't have. Them weird. Them weird. Anyway, I obtain this tree first. Oh! Ah, so it will be downloaded. Confirm. So I can choose three out of five first. I don't have to use all of them. And uh, it will download into here. So I'll be able to diagnose my car. Mm. And it's free for one year for me, but after that it's annual uh, payment. And I, I, I mean, subscription service. You will know that it's damn expensive, right? All this OBD2, 40,000 one machine, right? Yep. Then you pay thousands to, to update them. So, uh, so, I can see my three brands, Aston, Audi and BMW is being downloaded now. And, uh, <laughs> the Aston Martin software is 1.6 megabyte. <laughs> the Audi one is 75 megabytes. <laughs> that tells you who breaks down more often. Yeah. And the BMW one is 378 megabytes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I need to wait. Hey, you need to go. You go yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make a move. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you need to pick up your wife, right? right, right. So guys, uh, put a link and uh, look for Mike. If you want Cam Lube Oils. Or you can actually come to Prestige. Uh, Prestige over here, they supply cam lube oils. Okay, and um, I'm, I've been using cam lube, you guys will know. The moment I start using cam lube, I've been using them since, ever since. So, uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Or, yeah. You can ask other people who have tried cam, cam lube. Take care. Mm. Take care, bro. Take care. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye, bye bye. Drive safe. Drive safe. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. No, okay. I'm, I'm sure someone will take care of me. Alright. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Uh, it's taking some time, so I do not know how long I need to wait. 
uh, it says waiting, but um, to wait for how long? Uh, so that's the that's the home screen. That's the home screen. All right. Uh, my device, my system, and uh, what does this do? Oh, there are a lot of other softwares that you can purchase, right? And uh, the OBD functions. Oh, it's scanning the OBD, the Bluetooth. Cool. Cool. I thought I need to go through some complicated Bluetooth setup process. The diagnostic software has started and uh, it's reading the CAN bus. So for those of you who don't understand, uh, modern cars, right, uh, they have all the systems connected to the car and uh, when they have any error and all that, they'll be recorded in it. And um, yeah, so, okay, currently it couldn't find my protocol because the download is just on its way. Right, and our connection is really slow these few days, as you can see. The thing should be flashing now. Oh no, it's not flashing. I think I should turn on the car. Right, I'm starting the car, just push this. Alright, uh, now the car is on. Let me switch off that. And, uh, Yeah, there's a green light. You can see the green light. So we're trying to yeah, we'll see what's going on. But the software is still being downloaded, so I'm not sure what's what's actually what, right? But professionals will know. So to me, it's a learning curve that uh, I just have to. You know, learn my way there. Anyway, guys, so this is how it works. It's only about 200 over ringgit. Plug it into your car, download the software, and you can access a lot of information about your car. When you have an engine warning light, you can see what it what is it about. And um, this one uses. Uh, plain English instead of a lot of quotes and all that so it is easy to understand and um, once I have access to my Aston or Audi or BMW softwares I can learn more and to know that what this code does and all that and for my Audi I can even use uh, this to unlock some functions that otherwise wouldn't have been accessible you know it, it's like, like that especially German cars right they, they lock a lot of functions so I can't wait to experience it. So guys, um, go get your thing car. I think it's an affordable way to have to begin the process of learning more about your car. I know a lot of experts out there, a lot of our fans out there who loves tinkering with their cars, right? They already have all these things. They have their own, uh, you guys have your own OBD2 port, you know, cables and all that, and your laptops, plug into your laptop and software with your laptop and all that but this one is so simple it is just a device Bluetooth connected to your phone and your phone serves as the brain and this one can access all the information you can buy more new softwares yeah all right you don't have to buy the ThinkCar Pro if you're not running a workshop you can buy just the ThinkCar 2 or ThinkDiac if you're from in, in Europe or US uh, Think Diagnostic basically ThinkDiac and then you can download the relevant software for your car and then do your stuff yeah all right so I'll leave my car here for them and um, yeah. one thing I want to show you see my car recommends V power racing yeah super unleaded you know 98 Ron right <laughs> okay cheers that's it bye that the brothers on the rise now Woo! endless celebrations all of my